thank you so much for tuning in to Carly B TV. I'm Dr. Carly Shaboos. It's the holiday season and we have a special treat coming up this Christmas in theaters is the Color Purple Musical. And today we are joined by, by one of the cast members, that's Abba Arthur. And she's here to just talk about the movie in general and without spoiling it, of course, and also to talk about her character in the movie. So thank you so much, Abba, for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is such a pleasure and an honor. I'm excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Abba, you know, just talk to us about, you know, uh, the Color Purple musical. This is a bit different from, you know, the film, the 1985 film. So it's going to be a musical. So definitely a treat, right? Yes, of course. Of course. It, so this is um, a reimagining of the original, of the Broadway musical. It's bringing in all the elements together, of course, musical elements into it. There's a lot of new music. There's some, without giving it away, there's some different ways in which we see what we saw in the original story. So definitely, if you're a lover of the original story, if you're a lover of the Broadway musical, please come out and see it. Okay. So yeah. um, with your experience, we know that you was actually in part two of the, of the Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. So, you know, with you being, you know, in the Color Purple musical, talk to us about your experience working alongside, you know, uh, Taraji P. P. Henson, Fantasia. You know, how was that experience? This is, this is different, right? This is different. This is definitely different. You know, the heart of this film is about relationships. It's about sisterhood, it's about family, it's motivational, it's inspirational. So also the tone on set felt exactly like that. We really grew very close. We all became a family. Of course, walking into a film like this with a heavy hitter like Taraji, you know, especially, I mean, Fantasia, when she sings, it's like the ground is moving. She just brings up everything from the ground out through her voice. And obviously the queen herself, Oprah Winfrey. I just, I arrived on set very humble and looking for opportunities to learn from everyone. We all learned from each other. We all took from each other and we wanted to create something that was beautiful. And that felt like how we felt when we were filming it. Oh, wow. So let's talk about your character. Of, of course, don't spoil it for us, Abina. I mean, this is a new role, right? It is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, so can you just give us a, a little hint of Abina? Like, what can we expect? Sure. You can expect to see Abina as a part of a larger family structure. So that's what I'll say. She ties in some familial elements. Um, you, you can see familiar traces of her in the previous works. So I'm excited for you guys to see it so that you can see her in all her glory. <laughs> okay, okay. So yes. just talk to us about an upcoming writer and actress, you know, for people who are out here, who started out just like you started out, want to get these different opportunities. What can you say to uplift them and to get them to a point where, you know, hopefully in their future, they'll have opportunities that are waiting just as you have been rewarded that opportunity. Yeah. You know, this get this industry, it's really just about passion and perseverance, honestly. When you have your head on straight and you know that the art is the goal and you want to make good art and entertainment and you want to speak from your heart, sometimes it takes a while to get there. And sometimes you have to find your right avenue to know where your gift is going to fall in the entertainment industry. And so I just always encourage people, keep trying, keep going, keep pushing. There's a lot of no's, there's a lot of rejection in this business. And so you have to understand why you're in it and you have to have your through line before you even begin and throughout, because as you get those no's, it can really wear on your spirit if you don't know why you're doing this. So I would say, find your why and then stick to it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Okay. So um, two more things I want to bring up off topic from the Color Purple musical. You have two uh, movies coming up. Well, net Netflix series, Bad Monkey, and you also have Freedom Hair. 
Uh, talk to us a little bit about that um, and what can we expect from those? Gladly. I'm so excited about this. Can you tell? <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, 2024. I'm so excited about it. So I have a television series, Bad Monkey, which I recur in, which will be dropping next year. It is a Vince Vaughn starrer. So he's coming back to television, which I'm so thrilled about. I was so grateful and glad to work with such a comedic genius as himself. So please look out for that. And then Freedom Hair. This is something we want to talk about. It is the story of the woman who created the first legal natural hair braiding salon. And for those of us exactly that have worn braids, that have worn any kind of different hairstyle, it's, it's unfathomable to think that there was a time where we couldn't go to the hair salon legally, which is wild. I mean, her case went all the way up to the Supreme Court. So without me giving away too away, much again, right, right. I want you all to see, yeah, I want you all to see it. Um, that one is a very important one. I am so grateful to be a part of the cast. And again, I can't wait for you all to see these. I can't wait for you to see it. Perfect, perfect. Well, again, thank you so much, Ava. Just for Ava, excuse me. I'm I'm calling your character Abina. I'm thinking Abina, and I'm saying Ava. I'm not from sorry. Okay. But uh, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show and just sharing this information with us. And also, we're super excited. Again, you guys, the Color Purple musical is hitting the theaters Christmas Day, and that's just days away. And Thank you so much. We are looking forward to seeing it. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is great. What's happening the weekend on KBTV? And this is what country Wayne. Hey, everybody. This is Tamela Man, and I'm rolling with Carly B TV. Hi, I'm yours truly, Atlanta's own MC Life, and I want to let you know I'm all the way live with Carly B TV. That way, the long way. I'm always Carly B TV. Peace up. And A Town Die. Yo, this Henry Wells, the most feared man in comedy. Street T, all the way live on Carly B TV. I'm here, baby. Check them out. And yo, what's up? I'm Tony Terry. All the way live on Carly B TV. You heard me. Poker Bear, all the way live on Carly B TV. You understand me? You're going to learn today, baby.